Hey y'all, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a couple of new things from Madam Glam. Um, first, I have the new cat eye gels. There are six in this collection. And then I just received this today. This is the new builder gels. So I'm gonna do a separate video for the builder gel. So in this one, I'm gonna focus on the cat eyes. I'm gonna do a swatch and comparison like I always do with the collections. And then if you wanna see the builder gels, come back to the next video and I'm gonna have a separate video just on those because I believe both videos are gonna take a while, but exciting new things for Madame Glam. So at first glance, looking at these, they really remind me a lot of the Home Alone collection, um, which was an all cat eye collection. It was absolutely stunning. There were so many good colors in there, but it's no longer available. So if you didn't get that and you were wanting them, now would be your chance. So I'm going to, let's see if I can zoom you in here. So you can look at these. So I'm probably going to, going to just focus on comparing these to the other cat eyes. It really doesn't make a lot of sense to compare them to every color um, because it, it is such a different formula. And again, it's the magnetic formula. So we're just gonna focus on that today. So without further ado, let's get swatching. Okay, so don't mind my nails. They are the same that I've had on since my last video and they are super, super, super grown out and they look really bad. Remnants of stamping polish, they're scuffed from filing nails, plus the growth, they look gross, so sorry. <laughs> I'll get them fixed eventually. I think I'm gonna do this swatch video just a little bit differently. We only have six of these and I've got the magnetics here. These are the really old magnetics. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't have any of these anymore. Um, I think I might've saw a couple in the clearance section. I'm not sure if any of these were the ones that they had, but really pretty magnetics. That one is broken. Um, Galactic Mist, It's a Kind of Magic, and Amethyst are my absolute favorites in these. But those were, I think some of those were kind of like the 90. These right here are the Home Alone collection. So... Something really weird about Lost in New York, and my swatch sticks are starting to do it now, just ever so slightly. This is a purple, and for whatever reason, it's turning pink. I don't know why it's doing that. It's very strange. We've had it on a couple clients, and they come back and their nails have changed colors completely. And I didn't notice it on my swatch sticks until recently, so it's taking a lot longer for it to fade on here. Um, so that's really not what it looks like when you swatch it or when you first put it on, but it's what it looks like eventually. It's so strange. But I did these three different ways. I swatched them just on their own without pulling the magnet, magnet at all, just to get the color. Then I did the traditional cat eye pull, and then I did like the raised particle pull, so it looks like 3D, like a jewel. I don't know what you call that. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these, and there's only six of the new ones. So I think I'm just going to swatch and compare at the same time as we go along, because why not? And I'm not gonna pull this and like swatch it three different ways. I'm going, I'll, I'll pull it for you, but I'm only gonna cure it one way. Hopefully that all makes sense. So let's do it. <laughs> I know this collection was really, really popular when it came out, I believe it sold out the Home Alone collection. Um, and it was really, really popular with my clients. So again, if you guys did not get that collection, I believe this will be a nice substitute. So I'm gonna pull it where you just pull it up so you get that jewel toned effect. I think that really gives it the best color. And the one and only blue, it is a little bit lighter. So I'll pull it with. So with these, I like to do a coat, just base coat of the color. And then on the second coat, pull the magnet. I think it gives it the best color. So I am gonna do that. So I'm not adding any more polish to this. I'm simply just wiping away the magnetic pool and then I'm going to pop it into the light. 
let that cure and then when it comes out I'll do it the second coat and do the magnet part on it while that's going we'll go ahead and start on the next color this one is called Ruby Madness it reminds me I believe of maybe Kevin from the Home Alone collection this is such a pretty color it's almost like a a maroony kind of color so just because which one is Kevin Kevin's the more red one yeah I think it's pretty close to that so I'm gonna pop that in the light we'll go back through and check these all again on the second coat for sure so this one is yellow diamond I don't think we had a yellow one in that collection so that's pretty cool it's kind of like a golden yellow very pretty did we have a yellow there is no yellow from that one so this one's different yay I like it when we find different unique colors and whatnot all right what is this one emerald gaze so this looks like a maybe a frosty blue but it says emerald so maybe it's more of a green oh yeah it's like a um an icy pepperminty kind of color that's interesting i don't think we have oh that one's really green that one's really blue okay so another one that may be different which is great news love that what is this one citrine obsession this one looks like keep the change it's very coppery oh yeah that out of the way a little different style of a swatch video you guys this isn't like the traditional monthly collection this is like one of those mid-month launches and again, I've said this before in other videos, but in case you missed those, I believe what Madam Glam is doing now is um, uh, collections that are just around for a short period of time. They're not keeping like staple colors anymore like they used to. They used to keep everything pretty much in stock. And I think now it's like they come out with a collection and then kind of when it's gone, it's gone. Sometimes they restock it. Sometimes they do not. Um, this one is called Jade Dream. A little bit like Buzz from the Home Alone collection. So I always tell everybody, if you want the collection, don't wait. There may not be another opportunity to get it. Or a couple years down the road, you may see a situation like this where they come out with some dupes. Okay. Okay. So that's the first coat of everything. We're gonna do the second coat, pull the magnet, and really get a good look at what they look like. So second coat of Sapphire Love. Ooh, I love me a Sapphire Blue. As always, you guys can sign up for the VIP if you wish to do so. It's gonna save you the most amount of money that way, especially if you're buying gels quite often. Now, I did have somebody uh, bring to my attention that the collections have been coming out early. So like the March collection came out the end of February and the VIP credits haven't hit your account yet. And I know that's frustrating. Um, my advice would be to just hold on to your VIP credits unless it's something you absolutely have to have right away and let them accumulate a little bit. And then that way when something comes out, when you, if you want it, you can just go ahead and get it. Um, but yeah, that's very frustrating. And maybe you might want to bring that to Madame Glam's attention if they continue to do so. So for the January, February, and March collection, they've all came out a couple weeks before the first of the month. So I, I do see where that is very frustrating. Okay, so here's Wet Bandit. And here is Sapphire Love. It's not 100% dupe. Sapphire Love is a little bit brighter of a blue. I'm going to pull it the traditional cat eye, but it is very close. You can really see here how it's a little bit brighter and this one's a bit on the deeper side. 
but very close would make a nice substitute. Okay, now, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, I try to do my best to answer everybody as soon as I possibly can. And I tell everybody if you want to see the beautiful, gorgeous nails and art I do with these collections that Madame Glam sends me, check me out on Instagram at Ginger Sparks. I post all my pictures there. It's the best place to see them. Ooh, this one is pretty Ruby Madness. So I believe this looks the most like Kevin for sure. That could be a pretty close dupe. Let's pull the cat eye. Oh yeah, you guys. So that one's pretty much spot on with Kevin. So pretty. I do love that one. This is one of the most popular ones when that collection came out. This was so perfect for winter as well. Um, when it came out, my clients were going crazy for it. I put so many snowflakes <laughs> on those colors. Like I used every one of those magnetic colors and put snowflakes on them. It was so pretty. So this one, yellow diamond. We don't have one like this. So this one is unique, very pretty. It's almost like, I don't know, I wanna say it's almost chartreuse. It's got just a hint of green maybe to it, but just a hint. It's, it's interesting because it's a cat eye and it's like a golden yellow, but it pulls a little. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm trying to get through these as fast as possible for you guys. Emerald Gaze. Oops. When I rush, I drop things. Goodness. Try not to rush. But I also try not to make these videos too long. Talking videos like this tend to be a little bit longer. But I don't know. I like changing things up a bit because it keeps it not so boring. Right? Ooh, that's pretty. This is my favorite way to pull a cat eye. Where you like, oh, when you shift your hand around, it just looks different. Very pretty. I don't think we have one like this. I'll show you Wet Bandit. It's definitely somewhere between a green and a blue. And we do not have one like this. So let's pull the cat eye traditionally. They have come up with so many magnets, you guys, to like do cat eyes with. Little flower magnets, like little X's, like just everything you can think of. So I think a few shops that have those magnets would be um, Vetsy, uh, who else? Daily Charm, I think has some stuff like that. So I have a couple little odd magnets here and there. All right, this one's probably one of my favorites. I love a good copper. These are perfect for fall, these copper tones. So beautiful. Background for leaves and whatnot. it like this oh so pretty uh, madam glam's magnet by the way is amazing so if you guys just need a traditional cat eye magnet you cannot go wrong with one of those so this one i think is pretty much spot on as a dupe for keep the change. Well, you know what? It might be just an ever so bit lighter. Yeah, just ever so slightly uh, lighter, but pretty close dupe. Okay, and last but not least, Jade Dream. I don't think I could do this with a traditional like monthly collection. Um, there are so many swatch sticks to go through, my goodness. You guys know, you know, probably been around for a hot minute and seen all the swatch videos. So I do appreciate you all so very much. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this one. I don't think this one's going to be quite as dark as Buzz. It will probably be the closest, but it's not the same by any means. This one almost looks like it's fading and changing colors too. That's very strange. I've not noticed that before with cat eyes. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have um, seen that happen before. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's definitely a good bit lighter. This would be a great St. Patrick's Day color, you guys. So pretty. Jade Dream. 
So that is all of them. I want that one cure. Of course, I'll top coat those and I'll throw them on the wheel here or maybe on this one so they don't get mixed up too much. <laughs> uh, either way. But yeah, so that is all of them. It's a very pretty collection. Great cat eye formula, as always, from Madam Glam. They do a great job with these. So pretty. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you're going to pick this up, if you already have it. I may be just a little late on this video, so, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm trying to get things done as fast as possible, but I do have a full-time job as well and a little kiddo at home to take care of, so it's a lot. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys so very much, and thank you so much again to Madam Glam for sending me this gorgeous collection. Stay tuned. I'm going to do another video. It'll be coming up in, I don't know, a day or two after this one and we're gonna do those builder gels so yeah I'm gonna actually film it right now so I'll post it in a couple days after this one but yeah that is that collection guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one bye